Alright, good evening ladies and gents, welcome back to Compound Interesting. In today's video we're going to be going through my top 7 or so coins that could make you a millionaire within a decade or two. And I think if you want to become a millionaire through investing in a such a short amount of time, I think the best opportunity is definitely going to be using crypto. I think if you're looking at stocks, if you're looking at dividend stocks, the S&P 500, it's going to take you a long ass time to become a millionaire using those methods. So in my opinion, the thing that has grown massively over the next 10 years is probably going to continue growing massively over the next 10 years and continue to disrupt, you know, the financial system, blah, blah, blah. We all know that. So let's get straight into the first couple of picks. And yeah, I'm just going to run through these because they're quite obvious. But the first pick is actually Bitcoin. And I know you'll probably need a good bit of starting capital to become a millionaire within a decade with Bitcoin. I think around 50k or so should get you there. But uh, yeah, I think Bitcoin, I know it's hated by a lot it kind of has a toxic community that holds it back a bit in my opinion but it definitely is the lowest risk and still has really high upside in my opinion like if you imagine what countries are going to put cryptocurrency on their balance sheet what cryptocurrency are they going to pick they're not going to pick cum rocket i'm sorry but companies like big s p 500 companies and potentially countries could make it legal tender whether yeah, companies will want to have some sort of inflation hedge or put some crypto on their balance sheet they're going to be choosing bitcoin and to add to that the world is kind of going to through a phase of deglobalization so it's going through has been going through globalization for i don't know 50 to 100 years and now it's kind of coming to the peak of that and starting to go to deglobalization and everyone's trying to become more independent and not relying on others for energy and stuff so a kind of a neutral currency might actually be very useful in that environment something that's completely new neutral for international trade that no nobody has to trust uh, another country for example the us dollar all right the second cryptocurrency i'm sure you've all guessed it is ethereum i won't spend too long on it but just just to say like it has the highest usage out of any cryptocurrency in the fact that there is the most value stored on top of ethereum there's actually more value stored on top of ethereum than what the whole ethereum market cap is worth like for example usdc usdt they're all t tens almost hundreds of billions of dollars just those two alone and they're mostly sitting on top of ethereum there's all of DeFi, and there's all of nfts and there's huge nft activity and i think nfts will get grow massively over the next decade not just like you know pictures and stuff like other crazy use cases so it's the highest usage value wise and it's still extremely secure and decentralized but because there's a lot of usage on top of ethereum and every time someone uses ethereum they have to burn a little bit of eth that means number go up for ethereum now let's move on to number three which is solana same kind of deal here solana has massive usage probably definitely the second <coughs> highest use layer two from what i've seen the nft activity on solana has been crazy recently almost coming up to ethereum a few times so solana nfts are growing massively people there's a lot of value stored on solana nfts and solana is also the fastest blockchain out of any blockchain because it uses a new proof of history so Solana is lightning fast as a layer one, which could be very useful. Now, Ethereum's obviously going for speed using layer twos, but that could be a little bit clunky. So it might be nice to have a really fast layer one blockchain, and that's probably going to be Solana from what I've seen. And Solana isn't very highly priced. It's only like $10 billion market cap. It's still lower than Car Cardano. And who the F uses Cardano? So I've done a deeper dive on Solana. I'll link the video up there. So personally, I could easily see Solana get into the hundreds of billions in market cap in the next bull run or just over the next coming decade. All right, so the next coin is an old favorite of mine and it gave me major blue balls during the last bull run because it did not perform as well as I expected it to. Uh, It was a bit of a letdown to say the least, although it performed incredibly well in the last bull uh, bear market, sorry. And that is Chainlink. So the idea here is that potentially Chainlink could perform well during a bear market. Now, Chainlink for me is like one of the best fundamental coins because every single cryptocurrency, well, not every single, but like pretty much a huge amount of cryptocurrencies have to use Chainlink. Basically what Chainlink does, it links the real world to the decentralized on-chain activity in a, it's in a decentralized trustless manner. And I've done a full video on Chainlink there. It's actually my best performing video of all time. Um, but unfortunately, Chainlink didn't perform as well as I thought it would during the last bull run. But the 
the idea here is that maybe it is just such a good fundamental coin that it will perform well during the bear market and because it's underperformed for so long it's probably due for some sort of breakout so i hope you're starting to see a little bit of a pattern in the types of coins that i like to invest in and those kind of coins are coins that are actually used that have the most activity on them and every time someone wants to use Chainlink to get real world data onto their blockchain they have to use Chainlink to actually pay for that service and yeah Chainlink at the moment is sitting at a 3.5 billion dollar market cap so absolutely tiny i think it's it's low it has a lower market cap than litecoin which is completely useless no one uses litecoin at all so it doesn't make any sense in reality that litecoin is higher than chainlink but there you go there's a lot of coins that are higher in market cap than chainlink but everyone uses chainlink and it's an extremely useful currency so that's why i like chainlink and we'll be adding to it over the bear market all right next up we got matic or polygon and the reason i like this is it is the most used layer 2 scaling solution for ethereum and i'm very bullish on ethereum and ethereum have stated that they're going to need layer 2s and i think matic or polygon is the best layer 2 and it already is used by a lot of like nft projects uh gaming stuff like that and probably will be used massively in gaming in the future so that's why that's pretty much why i like matic and it's only a six billion dollar market cap so yeah it could easily get into tens or hundreds of billions of market cap in the next cryptocurrency bull run all right coin number six is actually apecoin and this is the coin developed by yuga labs and yuga labs are the best team in web3 or in the nft metaverse kind of space in my opinion and this gives you an exposure to to them without having to buy like a board ape or a mutant ape or another deed so if you don't spend that much money or have that much of an investment into yuga labs you can just buy as little or as much ape coin as you like and it gives you massive exposure to everything that yuga labs does so you don't have to bet on the other side you don't have to bet on mutant apes you, you know, might not need to know which one's going to do better but if one of them does well apecoin will do do well because everything they do is going to be revolved around apecoin or it's going to be using apecoin like any anything they sell in the future you're going to have to buy using apecoin and the entire other side metaverse is going to be used using apecoin as well and also coming up even though it's been delayed so i did a video about this uh, a couple of weeks ago but staking for apecoin is coming up but it has been delayed so apecoin is potentially geared up for when staking goes live apecoin could go up massively in price and um, if you want further details on that watch that video but in my personal opinion i think buying the yuga actual assets so like the actual nfts is probably better than buying apecoin but uh yeah definitely you don't have to put that much exposure if you want to just buy like a couple of hundred dollars worth or something all right so the next coin is actually a kind of a group of coins and as some of you might have noticed i've gotten very interested and involved in the nft space recently i like investing in nfts and learning about nfts but i know a lot of people don't really care about nfts and don't want to get involved in nfts but maybe they want to bet on nfts without having to actually go and buy an nft so what you could do you could buy a coin like i suggested or you could buy coins for nft marketplaces so you could just bet on the marketplaces like the people selling the picks and shovels rather than people actually selling gold so there was a couple of coins that were airdropped to nft users so looks rare we got a big nice airdrop for from looks rare which is one of the nft marketplaces and right like all the airdrops now have gone down 90 to 95 percent in value because anyone who got the airdrop and wanted to sell has sold at this stage so i think the the downside from here potentially limited unless those exchanges don't get used anymore and i think the best nft exchange that has a coin is probably looks rare uh, i think that's around 22 cents right now so if you bought some looks rare you can actually stake it and earn some earn more looks rare tokens but the other nice way you could earn looks rare tokens without actually having to buy any looks rare tokens is just use the looks rare marketplace so you actually get trading rewards and staking rewards not just staking rewards you get trading rewards so if you tra trade nfts if you buy an nft on looks rare you'll actually get rewards for that so that's a nice way to accumulate looks rare rewards if you're actually involved in the nft space and looks rare has a 100 million dollar market cap for the coin which is you know tiny 100 million dollar market cap that's a really really slow shit coin <laughs> so potential massive upside like to even get it to a billion dollars it's only a 10x like a billion dollars is still a really small coin 
So none of the NFT ecosystem coins are even in the top 100 coins. So the other one is X2Y2 and the other one is Immutable X. So Immutable X is on Ethereum, is it an exchange on Ethereum where there's no gas fees. So it's kind of like a layer two version, but it has its own uh, site and I've used it and it's good. Uh, Gary V's has book games on there, which is one of his NFT projects and it's actually on Immutable X. So another interesting one you could look into. So I hope it's obvious that the kind of coins that I like to invest in are coins that people actually use and not even coins that just people use now. You have to kind of think of what coins are people going to use in the future and not even the coins like the actual services and the marketplaces. And so I'm obviously bullish on NFTs. So NFT ecosystem coins make sense. I'm bullish on metaverse. So potentially metaverse makes sense as well. And obviously the actual platforms that they will be built on, which are Ethereum and Solana, in my opinion, and Matic. So that's everything I got for this video. If you enjoyed, hit me with that thumbs up button, subscribe and smash that notification bell because I'm a tiny channel. If you actually like my videos, make sure you have the notif notifications on or you don't get recommended them in your homepage. So I really hope you enjoyed. I really appreciate you watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Cheers.